Well, now what? Well, hello everyone. It is April today. I'm doing a try a chapter tag. I asked you guys over on Instagram to pick what I read in August. Well, at least one of my books. So, so I have five books here that you guys suggested that I read. I'm going to read the first chapter of each and every one of them. And then I'll decide what I'm going to read. Like right now, after this video is done, I'm going to hop right into one of these reads. So first up is Brandy's pick. She wanted me to pick Circe. So I am going to read the first chapter of this. This is about the Siren, the witch. She's considered all sorts of things in antiquity. Is she a demigod? I can't remember if she's a demigod as well. It is about her life, how she came to be, meeting Odysseus. I've only heard amazing things about Madeline Miller, so I'm eager to get into this. So, it was a good first chapter. I don't know that I was blown away by it. I think I have like this majorly hyped in my mind. Very good about her being born and how her parents met and the slights that her family give to her as a not so pretty demigod. What should we read next? Okay, so next book. So, Bookie Wookie Me and then also Claire um, both wanted me to read The Midnight Library. I think I got the synopsis of this wrong. Apparently, this is about a woman named, I believe, Nora. <laughs> Love that. And she goes to a library where she can read books in the library that show what would happen to her life if she had chosen differently. And she can kind of see what her life would have been like. It sounds very interesting. I ended up reading the first two chapters by accident. I thought the first was a preface. And then anyway, I ended up really, really liking it. It very much sucks you in. It really is about Nora wanting to die and like setting her mind to die. And I think her finding the library saves her life in some way or another. This is a real contender. Okay, so Good Neighbors is next. Ricky really wanted me to read this. So I am going to start to read it. This is about a suburb and I believe a child dies in a sinkhole like gets killed falling into a sinkhole and the mother of that child is understandably very angry but blames one family in particular now what i didn't know is apparently sarah langdon writes horror books if i'm not mistaken she usually writes horror so this is a step away from it, but it should be gritty considering that. Who doesn't love a map? Okay, so I just finished the first chapter. It was good. Now, Ricky mentioned that he is listening or she, uh, they're listening to this on the audio. I think I might do that. There are some books that you just know are going to do better on audio for you, well, at least for me. And I think I'll enjoy this book even more on audio. So not going to pick this up right away. That's in the no pile, but it was, it was good. Good writing. Very like the first chapter ended on a cliffhanger. The sinkhole happened. We have two more. Next up is Bitter Orange by Claire Fuller. 
So this one was recommended to me by Britt Lynn, who's in my Patreon. Love her. And I have been wanting to read this for a while. This is about a woman who goes to stay at this dilapidated English country house. And she's staying in the attic. And there's like this little hole in the floor. And she can see into the flat underneath her. And a couple move in and she's watching the couple. Very strange. Um, and then it seems like she's like spying on them and something is clearly not right between this couple. Sounds interesting. I also love this cover so much. Okay, so I just finished the first chapter of Bitter Orange. Very good writing. Like really, really good. It's also summary. So I'm gonna put this on the maybe pile too. So far it's between the Midnight Library and Bitter Orange. Hmm. All right, last but not least is The Breakdown by B.A. Paris. This was suggested to me by Kara. And I think this is about a woman who's driving home and she sees a car uh, on the side of the road and there's a woman there. Uh, she does not stop. And then she learns the next day that that woman was murdered or went missing. And she feels guilty. And then she starts to, I think, look into it. Let's read. Well, I feel like as this video has gone on, I've just been like reclining more and more. <laughs> um, I liked this first chapter. It's It starts out with a thunderstorm, which you guys know me in the summer. I love a good thunderstorm. Although after all the tornadoes we have started getting here in Ottawa, I do get nervous, but it was fun. I don't think that it's a contender. Oh, I don't, oh, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to think and come back to you. Okay, I feel like it's between these two. I just, okay, so with this book, though, I think I'm going to go with The Midnight Library because this book like, I already feel like I couldn't put it down. That's a really good sign. So, okay. Go with your gut, April. We're doing the Midnight Library. Obviously, I will update you as I go along. And I will update you in my wrap-up what I ended up thinking of it. It's definitely a different kind of vibe for me. I don't always do well with time travel. But I'm wondering if this is that. Very intrigued by the premise of this one. And everyone seems to love it. So wish me luck. And thank you guys so much for sending in your requests of what I read. Uh, there were some really, really good contenders here. And like gives me an idea of what I should read and put on my list of TBR lists pronto earlier. And which I can hold off on or which I should do audio. So thank you all very much. I'm going to go sit out back and read some of the Midnight Library.